Hey everybody, this is Gina with GinasCraftingSpot.com and today I'm going to make a card for a little girl. Her name is Elizabeth. She's eight years old and um, they just found she has a brain tumor. And Raquel from Raquel's Designs dot blogspot.com um, sent me a note and asked me to make her a card and of course I am so uh, you could go to her blog all the details are there if you want to um, send Elizabeth a card as well so what I have is a piece of uh, eight and a half by eleven paper tray ink cards craft card stock that I cut in half long ways and I'm just going to score that in the metal using my Martha Stewart scoreboard and so I'm going to score it at five and a half so I cut it at four and a quarter on my cutter and then I came up with this and then I'm going to fold it in half and it's going to be a portrait card I'm going to open it up Then it'll open like that. And then I have some layers. I have a piece of this. Sorry, children are getting ready to go to sleep. They get kind of wild and like to sing. It's um, from the Making Memories um, mat stack. And they have this um, cute rose pink color. So I'm using that for the background and also for a layer. Um, of my little poodle and the image I'm using is this poodle from Create a Critter and it is on page 36 so I cut out the poodle in blue the um, the, the part with the face and then I cut out the hair and everything uh, with the face it's just like a light pink and then the hair and all the other um, pieces I cut out in that same rose that I'm using as the background and it's an A2 size card I'm going to measure about five and a half by four and a quarter. And so this layer is four by five and a quarter. And then this layer um, of, it has like brown and vanilla and a rose and a, um, like a light pink in it. This measures three and three quarters by five. And I went ahead and ran this through my uh, cuddle bug. I don't know if you can really tell the seeing spots folder just because I like it and I felt like cuddle bugging so I just did it probably not necessary because of all the pattern but um, that's what I did so I'm just going to round all of my corners using my We Are Memory Keepers Corner Chomper sentiment I'm going to use is from a Scrappy Mom set. It's from this Sweet Somethings and it's just a sweet hello. I don't know really what to say so just a sweet hello. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp this first on my background um, paper because I'm going to trim this top layer a little just to show the sentiment on the bottom but I want to be sure I take off enough and you know how that goes. I want to be sure everything is right so just that right there on the bottom so then I will attach this so I just need to take off a little bit from the bottom let me do that this is just my creative memories um, cutter that I love Let's see if this is enough yep perfect and then I'm just going to add a little piece of ribbon of course I want to use a wobble because they are so cute and I think that will brighten anyone's day seeing a little poodle I'm going to wobble so I'm just going to go ahead and adhere this piece down to my pink and then I decided just to use this vanilla colored frilly ribbon so I'll just adhere this to the back or tape it on the back I mean yeah I guess that's what I meant right 
Um, never find my tape when I need it. So I shall just put my ATG, attach it, and just attach it to the card base. And I just don't want too much because I don't want anything. I wanted to do a bow, but I didn't want anything to interfere with the wobble. And I got a pretty big poodle here, so. Let's add a little more ATG. Cut off this little excess so it's not too bulky back there. Attach it to my front. And this is. Sorry about all the noise. I'm trying to be quick. A little off. Okay. Better. So there's my base. And then, thinking back, I probably should have put this together off screen. But here I have my brown base, I said. It's just a piece of, from the, you know, the packs you get like at Michael's for $2.50 with all the different colors. I have a ton of those. And I just found them. They were in a buried in one of my special places where I put all my scrapbook stuff. So then with the rest I'm just gonna use some zig two way. Make sure I get it stuck on there well. And Then I got the little hair, or poodle hair. Put that on again with my ATG and my zig. Then the And I didn't, I just printed it out, printed, I just cut it out with that same color because I didn't really care, um, because I'm going to add some stickles to it, so I figure I'll change the color of it anyway, so. Just did that, probably. Good, and here's the little nose. need one of those tools where they I forgot what the name of it is where they pick up the tiny pieces so my fingers just feel giant whenever I do these little put together these layers here's a little tail and kind of running out of time pretty necklace, or whatever her fur looks like necklace to me. Alright, and then I'm going to take my, and I'm still not done with this, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to put the stickles on um, a few of the different parts of this, but let me add my wobble first, my action wobble, and my daughter Kylie, she uses them a lot on her cards. 
and I was getting upset at the beginning. I'm like, you know what, at least she's using them, right? I feel bad telling her she can't use my stuff. Alright, so, there we go. Alright, so like I said, I'm probably doing some stitching around um, the outside, and then I'm going to put some stickles and uh, that's about it. So this is my card for Elizabeth. I hope it makes her smile. And again, just visit Raquel's designs.blogspot.com to see how you could um, see where you can send a card to Elizabeth to make them feel better. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.